Hi, welcome back, Alex here. Welcome back to a new video. And today we're going to talk about is good to be a barber in 2023. I'm gonna go through some of the points that comes up straight in my mind and I will not bullshitting you. I will tell you how it is. I don't care if you wanna hear something or you don't wanna hear something, I'm gonna tell you how it is, right? Uh, you know, I have quite long experience in this industry to tell you what is good and what is not, and then you're gonna pick if it's good for you or not. Um, so I'm gonna go through some of the points and then you will make your own decision and then you understand if it's good for you or not, okay? So first, first of all, let's start with the time. So time is a big one. Um, a lot of people, you know, they would like to be a barber, but they understand that straight away that long hours is not their point. You know, it could be part of their life. You're gonna start really early and then you're gonna finish really late, you know? An average time could be nine to seven at night, every day. Uh, so it doesn't matter if it's weekend, if it's Monday, whatever, it could be any day. And you know, you're gonna work long hours. So nine to seven, you're probably gonna do an average of 14 clients a day if it is a good barbershop, you know, 14, 15 haircuts a day. So you're gonna work a lot. And then you're gonna work the holidays, you're gonna work the weekends, you know, you're gonna work, you're gonna work every time that someone else won't work, you will work because you have to look after them because they're gonna go out. So, you know, if you're the guy that he wants to go parties on the weekend, I strongly recommend to don't do this job because this job will, uh, will get your time. You know, you have to be there all the time. And especially when it comes to holidays, where you want to go to holiday Christmas, you can't go because you gotta work. Okay, so it's a thing that you have to decide. Let's talk about money now. Uh, it is this new trend that people show. Oh, you can make thousand pound a week, fifteen hundred pound a week. That's no, it's not. It's not, especially in UK, right? You can't make that money. Can't make in the sense that it's such a small percentage of people that you can make it one off out of probably 50 barbers, uh, you can make thousand pound a week that I would not even consider that as an average. You can't even consider that you're gonna make that money because it is such a small percentage and I have to tell you that it's not true. It's not real, right? Then hundred pound a week, it's not easy. Uh, a number that could be really achievable, is 450 pound a week, 400, 500 pound a week, that's really achievable, right? Thousand pound a week? No, you're gonna need, you're gonna need a lot of dedication, a lot of passion, and a lot of long hours, and then a lot of stress with it, you know. And I'm telling you from a person that he was making that money, he was making that money in the barbershop, and then I'm telling you, it is a different level. You're gonna work in a different level, and you're gonna work, and you're gonna be, you have to be extremely good and dedicated to be that. It doesn't mean that you can't do it. Just saying that. I can't take this as an average because it's not real, right? And then from 450 to 1,000 pounds, there is a big gap, okay? So this is another one. Toxic environment. Uh, it is toxic environment around, and that's the, uh, a lot of people in my experience complain about it because it is a big, big uh, thing that happens in barbershop quite often where people are really toxic. It is a really toxic because it is people that go, Quite often, people that go to get into barbering are people that want to make money, so they go there just they're expendable. They don't care, you know. They won't get to make money and leave. It's slightly different when it comes out comes down to hairdressing salon. In the hairdressing salon, there is way more professionality. It is people are way more professional. People are with more uh, passions. They have more dedication. They like more what they do, and then they are a bit more. Um, when people are way more nicer, and then the environment is way more nicer too because it is different kind of environment. Right? Uh, in, barber, in barbering can, you know, of course it is good environment, but could be that you can find, you know, it's quite often easy, it's easy to find a um, really weird and toxic environment. It's just how it is. So, uh, you know, don't get, don't get uh, bad for it, you know, just forgive, you know, just don't think about it, then get your, your haircut done and then and then you'll be fine, you'll be fine. And then you're gonna find, hopefully, a good barbershop that can look after you, okay? Another one, energy. is gonna destroy your energy. This job is an energy-driven job. Like, you need so much energy that you cannot comprehend. It's so energy, you need energy all the time because you're gonna work all day, you're gonna stand up all day, you're gonna speak with people all day, you need to be, um, 
brain and hand coordination has to be on point. You have to be switched on on time. It's fucking hard, especially when you bring to another level, when you want to work at top level. You gonna, <laughs> the, the energy level that you need is just insane. And then to get that, you have to stop and then you have to be professional at every level. Then you stop going out if you follow the need to go to work. It is what it is. You have to stop going four in the morning, wake up at seven to go to work. You know, it's a thing that you can do when you're 18, but growing up and then you want to be professional, you can do this, right? You can't stay in the morning until four in the morning getting drunk and then wake up at seven to go to work with your face smoked, you fucked up, you know, cutting hair all day because you will destroy your energy. You have to stand up all day and talk with people all day. How are you going to do it? you like, there's no way. You need to have a right diet, balanced diet. You need to be anything that is in your power to keep your energy up. So getting coffee, getting good food and, and go work out. Help. That's the main goal that you have to. You need to be focused on this job. You are with clients all day. So you have to you have to uh, to think about it and then you you need to think okay I will consume my energy is a job that will stay you know will keep your energy level always like to a different level because you're gonna need that is a really tough job for the reason uh, it's probably one of the hardest thing uh, that the people don't realize because until you are there on the uh, on, on, on the shop, you don't understand how much energy you need. You need a lot of energy. You have to be careful what you eat, when you eat, because if you eat too much at lunch, you're going to be fucking destroyed and then you can't. So, uh, <clears throat> think about it. Another thing, another thing, you have to study. You have to study all the time, especially with the new generation coming up, the, the uh, you know, all the social media and uh, all the... Um, social skills in general that you need you gotta study every time it's not just doing hackers you need to be on point every time and understand what is the new trend understand what what you have to do to increase your uh, your status what you have to do to increase your clientele what you have to do to keep your clientele what you have to do to get better clientele what you have to do to increase your price what you have to do to get better you have to do there's so much study behind then if you want to be good you gotta study all the time and then you can't think anything else than work. And then you're gonna work all the time and then you try to understand what you can get, how can you get better? And <clears throat> in this job as well needs your dedication. So again, outside the time, work time, you gotta study. Uh, so it, it is a job that it, it keeps improving every day. You know, you need to be on point every day. And then it's still just a haircut because the haircut, when you learn how to do a haircut properly, is not much more than you have to learn, but it is definitely the way that you have to sell that it gets different. And then the way that you approach people gets different. The way that you advertise yourself that it gets different. And then you have to be on point every time to understand what you can do to get better at doing it. And then it takes time because you can't just wake up and say, oh, I'm gonna do it. No, you need to learn, and you have to study, and then you have to stay behind these things. So, um, you need to get, you need to study. That's another thing that you need to. And it is what it is. So this one is five of the points and comes up in my mind to uh, make you understand if you like this job or not. Sounds really hard, but that's what it is. Like, I'm not here to sell you the, the dream. It does, that's how it is the job, the job, you know, it's a good job that it can give you good satisfaction because you meet a lot of people, uh, but, you know, um, so if you need anything specifically, please comment below or, you know, and then I will try to reply to you or we'll do a video about it if you want the specific points uh, to break it down or anything like that. And so that's how it is. And then if you need a consultation for your job, for your and then if you need a consultation for your barbershop or hairdressing salon, just let me know. I will try to help you out. If you need a haircut, let me know. You know, I can uh, come to you and do your haircut. And then if you need any help to get better at your haircuts, let me know. I can figure out that. It is all my details down below. Send me an email to alexbarbacota.gmail.com or send me an Instagram DM and then I'll try to help you out. We'll come out with a website as well at some point. Uh, so it will probably be easier for you to reach me out. Thanks for watching and see you soon.